up guys, Heeking here, bringing you, uh, well, some Boruto news, anime news, uh, regarding the next four episodes we'll be getting. So, when Boruto returns this week, uh, for the start of the new year, uh, we'll be starting the Sasuke Retsuden arc, which has been adapted from the uh, light novel. Uh, which is also being adapted into a manga currently. At the moment, I think there's like five chapters at the moment. Or is it six? Five or six chapters have been released so far. And it's weird because the novel the novel is cut into three parts. Uh, I think there's a, Sa there's a Kakashi and then there's a Sasuke and Sakura and then there's a Naruto one. But they're only adapting the Sasuke part. So I think this is just the middle part of the story they're adapting. And because it's the most popular one, apparently... And that's why it's even got a manga adaptation. The manga's been pretty decent and good. Been very interesting just to see sort of Sasuke and Sakura working together. And now we're going to be getting an an uh, anime adaptation of this. And then after this arc is over, we're going to be going into the cold arc. We're finally going to be getting official manga animated content. But what's weird about this is the fact that this is only going to be four episodes long. Usually light novel uh, episode adaptations last about five to six episodes. This is four so this is probably going to be a very fast-paced arc, which is probably a good thing. You know, it goes right into the action and the character stuff. So, yeah, let's go through this. Let's read through these summaries by Organic Dinosaur. So, starting with the first one. Summary for Boruto. Sorry about that. Summary for Boruto anime episode 283, which also, I believe, is... No, no, because uh, two, two, 280 would be technically episode uh, 1000, and we didn't get anything special for that. Thanks for that, Boruto. You know, you, 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 you. It's, it's it's part of the Naruto anime, and and you couldn't, and the team couldn't be bothered to do anything special for 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 the for the special one thousand. What a disgrace! But uh, we are getting a new opening, so that that's that's cool. We're looking for that, and it's, apparently it's done by Kung Fu Generation. So yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for that because I like I pretty much like all of the music that they've done for for Naruto. Uh, and I think, have they done any for Boruto yet? I'm not too sure. But uh, if they have, I probably liked it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. But yeah, uh, uh, anime episode 283, Sasuke Retsuden Starlines, uh, which will be broadcast on the 15th. So, oh, the 15th. So not this week. Next, the week after? That's that's unexpected. I thought, I thought so we're on a two-week break then? Hmm. Well, okay, well, never mind. Um... So yeah, in order to save Naruto, who has fallen ill, Uchiha Sasuke decided to travel to an old uh, astronomical observation facility named the Tatura Astronomy Research Institution. Sasuke then becomes caught in a dilemma, where he gets attacked and subsequently poisoned by Menno, who was fulfilling its guard duties at the research institution. At that moment, Sasuke felt as though everything was all over him, or what was all over for him. However, the key to saving him was Sakura. She had infiltrated the facility as a doctor. Sakura then informed Sasuke that she was there to assist him, since there have been some modifications made to his original mission. And so, the married couple embark upon the infiltration investigation. Based on the documents that Sakura had acquired, the cure to the Rikudu Sanai's illness seemed to be a substance called the polar particles. In order for them to figure out the whereabouts of that material, the two of them knew that they had to acquire a book called The Illustrated Map of the Heavenly Bodies. They then decide to search in the institution's library for it. So immediately, this feels a bit... Sorry about that, the camera cut off. So yeah, the first ep episode description, I was going to say, it feels a bit different from the manga because when Sasuke gets there, I think he finds out that it's now a prison, so he purposely gets himself caught and infiltrates it as a prisoner. And then he later finds out about the doctor and then he meets Sakura. Here it sounds like he goes there, gets attacked and then is imprisoned but then uh, is is saved by Sakura and then they go and infiltrate I don't know it seems it seems this first episode is going to be a very is going to be very differently handled compared to how the manga and I and I'm assuming the light novel did it so yeah it, you can already feel like they're trying to speed through this so it does have sort of a rushed element to it if you're one of those fans who is like very pure about the novel and the manga and that so for you you know for most fans of I guess of that storyline it's probably going to be a bit annoying, but I guess it depends how it's done and how well better it's done. You know, sometimes the anime changes are good for the better, sometimes it's not, but we'll see. Uh, summary for Boruto anime episode 284. Sasuke Retsuden, The Basement's Secret, which will be broadcast on the 22nd of January. 
Sasuke and Sakura are trying to hunt down more information regarding the polar particles. They've got their eye on an opportunity. A messenger for the Prime Minister from the capital city will be coming to visit the head of the research institution, Zasura. There's a basement in Zasura's room that Sasuke and Sakura would like to investigate. In order to buy some time, Sakura transforms herself into the messenger for the Prime Minister. While they, while they are deceiving Sazura, Sazura, Sasuke tries to sneak into the basement. However, the plan does not go smoothly and they are left empty-handed. But then mid-conversation, Sazura says something disturbing. I feel like this is actually the part where the manga ended recently, which is, again, like four four chapters, maybe. So, at the, mom at the moment, there's like, there's like what? There's like, let me see. Let me see if I can find... How many chapters we have currently for this? Just a second, guys. Just a second. We have we have six. We have six chapters currently for this, and I feel as if this uh, the end of episode two's description sounds like the end of uh, chapter five. So yeah, you can already feel the rushness of this arc. But this that also brings up an interesting thing, like where's the where's the manga version ending? I'm assuming it's gonna be ten chapters in total, I guess. Which means the manga's probably yeah, the manga's probably gonna end around the same time as the anime anime adaptation, perhaps, because the uh, the manga comes out every two weeks. So yeah. Uh summary for episode of, for the third episode of this arc. Uh episode two eight five, Sasuke Ritsuden, the heavens descending upon the earth. Which will be broadcast on the 29th of January, which is literally the last day, uh, and then I've got a holiday for a week, so yeah, that's good. Uh, Sasuke and Sakura uh, collaborate with one another in order to gather more intel about the polar particles, but even now, there are still so many mysteries surrounding them. Sakura and Sasuke haven't been able to locate them either, but then Sasuke hears something from his cellmate. Those words enable Sasuke to figure out a clue that would indicate the whereabouts of the polar particles. Meanwhile, Sakura has also discovered a hint by solving the mystery behind the illustrated map of the heavenly bodies from the time she previously played a game called Star Lines with one of the other prisoners. At last, they've gathered some crucial information. Finally, the two of them can try to acquire the polar particles. But then... So th this feels like a direct adaptation of, of chapter 6 that we just got released. So so that's weird then. That means the first two episodes are going to be speed running through this arc and adapting 30, 40 pages of, of five chapters in just two episodes. And then and then most likely the episode 3 is only going to be an adaptation of just one chapter. So unless they're going to throw some filler stuff in there. But uh, that's a bit weird how they're doing this. And then we get the final episode uh, for this, uh, 286. Uh, 286? Right, okay. Okay, 286, yeah. I thought it was 28. I thought it started at 282. No, my bad. Sasuke Ritsu then, The Ring, which will be broadcast on the 2nd of February. No, sorry, the 5th of February, my bad. The 5th of February, and the episode before that, yeah. So... So, uh, the 15th, the 22nd, the 29th, and then the 5th of February, okay. Uh, suddenly, a huge swarm of dinosaur beasts have appeared at the research institution. The research institution has now played, is now plunged into complete chaos. Sasuke and Sakura are now aware of Zazuru's dreadful ambitions. In order to try and stop Zazuru, they split up into two groups. Although Sakura has already made her way back into the research institution, she has gotten caved in right in the midst of the mayhem. Meanwhile, Sasuke has realized that Zezuru has an ally. Sasuke tries to join forces again with Sakura, but seems to be unable to find her while they're on the verge of a crisis. Sasuke and Sakura, the strongest married couple in Konoha Haguru village, will they be able to crush Zezuru's ambitions and bring home the Pardo particles in order to relieve Naruto of his illness? So, it's, it's a bit weird that they're doing this now, like they're doing this arc now, especially since the novels apparently have gone into very detail about Naruto's illness, and the anime has done no hints whatsoever of even, you know, even proposing the idea that Naruto's ill. And there's the fact that these, that this arc with Sasuke and Sakura clearly takes place, I guess, before the events of Boruto. So... Or, so the anime is going to have to sort of fit this in during that event. And then there's the fact that it says here that Sazura has, has an ally. 
so is this is this an is this ally going to be revealed to be cold or another inner of Kara or someone new or someone just in the prison that we find out is a is a traitor perhaps hey maybe it's a t-rex i mean we've got we've got velociraptors so maybe we'll get a t-rex right uh that would be kind of cool um but yeah i'm looking forward to this arc four episodes uh, seems like it's going to be a very mystery thriller slash romance slash action packed at the end and, and it's Sasuke fighting dinosaurs. Like, you can't get more badass and hardcore than that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I can't wait. And then after this episode, after 286, we're getting the Cold Arc. We're getting the Cold Arc, finally. But that's the weird thing. The Cold Arc, as I've already mentioned, is still ongoing in the manga. There's only 21 chapters. By the time this, by the time we get this adap uh, adaptation, we'll have uh, 20, we'll have, um, we'll have another chapter out. So that'll be 72, what is it? No, not 72, 77 chapters, I believe. Altogether in Boruto, altogether 22 chapters in the Cold Arc. And yeah, uh, like, yeah, they'll have 22 chapters to adapt. And most likely, altogether, that will be about 10 to 12 episodes, maybe. And then we're going to be getting a bunch of anime canon uh, to fill the gap between until they, you know, get more chapters out. But if we, if we, if they adapt, if they adapt those 22 chapters into, say, 10, 12 episodes, There'll be, at, at, there'll be at best, there'll only be four more chapters released. So that'll put it around 20, 23, 24, 20, 26, 26 chapters. So they'll only have four extra ones to adapt. And most likely this arc isn't ending in five or four chapters. So yeah, they, we're going to be getting a lot of anime content. You know, this whole, this whole notion of, yeah, we're finally going to get anime content. It's like, it's kind of pointless. It's kind. Of, I mean, it depends on how they pace it and what new material we get afterwards. Because I imagine the new material is going to include uh, Ada and Damon specifically, but it just means more fans are going to be waiting for the conclusion of that arc. And once we do get the conclusion of that arc, we're going to be getting more anime canon until there's enough material to adapt whatever arc is next. So this is going to be a rinse and repeat. You know, I would have preferred what they did with the Kawaki arc, which is just wait until the arc ends and then adapt it fully. And then we ended up getting like 40 episodes with some anime canon episodes sprinkled in here and there. But in this case, we're getting half and then we're getting anime canon and then we're getting another half. So like, I feel like the entirety of of twenty of 2023 for, for the Boruto anime is basically going to be, is basically going to be, uh... Or obviously the prologue is going to be <coughs> the Sasuke stuff. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then from February to from February to say to uh, February to April, it's going to be anime canon. And then again, it depends on how it's paced. Maybe it maybe February to May, and then from April or May to to whenever. It's going to be anime canon stuff. And then we're not going to... We're probably most likely going to continue with the manga canon material at the very end of 2023. Or maybe the very beginning of 2024. So, yeah. I'm not I'm not too excited about that. Like, because it's going to be another long wait. Um, me, these days, I just wait to binge watch this stuff. So, I'm not going to be watching this weekly. I'm going to be waiting to binge watch it. Uh, instead of having to wait weekly and get bored 24-7. So, a lot, a lot of the anime canon material just works better if you binge watch it versus you know waiting watching it weekly um hopefully it'll be good but yeah uh we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see we'll see how it goes anyway guys that's that i hope you liked it as always remember to like and subscribe and i shall see you when i shall see you take care and